how to create a product in the latest version of OpenCart, which is version 1.5. I'm logged into the admin dashboard right now, so I'm going to go to catalog and products. Here's my list of products. I'm going to click the blue insert button, and it wants a product name. Now, I'm going to copy paste just for uh, time, okay? So bear with me. You'll probably be typing it. So today, I'm going to sell you the Mr. Tech Guide to Email Netiquette. It's a video that I've created uh, several years ago, and it's done well for me. And uh, I know it does well, so that's why I'm using this one as an example product for you to watch. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get back here. Meta tag description is for search engine. When a search engine sees your product, it's not going to show you the description here. It's going to show you like a small blurb. It wants to know like a one or two line version of what your product is. Ever hear of an elevator speech? Um, so if I was selling you um, hot buns and um, I don't want to list all the ingredients and stuff, I would say something like... Uh, 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 hot buns with butter fresh out of the oven every half hour you know something like that so I'm pasting if you're looking if you're working at branding your business looking for promotion part of a team project or even job seeking chances are you will need to use email to do so that's my tagline for my product what are my keywords well my keywords are mr. tech and then guide and email netiquette uh, branding, business, promotion, uh, project, team, uh, job, uh, interview. I have the word email there. I have the word etiquette. I don't have, but I have netiquette. Etiquette. Um, Mr. Tech guide email. Um, message probably okay so I've have enough um, I'm talking out loud so that you can see what it is that I'm doing but look I use this word and I use this word and I use this word and I use that word that word that word uh, this word and this word and this word and this word so I put a bunch of keywords so that Google and all the other engines get an idea of what it is that this page is trying to talk about do not skip these parts. They're very important. Okay. In the description, I'm pasting uh, what it is that this does. Uh, this ebook is a DVD companion. It's great for. I'm going to bold that. And here I'm going to make a bullet list because people hate reading. And that's great advice. Make yourself a bullet list like this. This one is no longer relevant, so we'll cross that out. This is good when you want people to know you're being honest and you're editing a post. So you cross it out to say, like, this is what it used to say, but uh, updated today. This no longer applies. So we don't want that there. There. So you could do like this. So people would know that this is what it used to say. This is what it now says. Now, this is more useful for a news site, uh, not really for a product site. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I can add an image. I can add a table. So here's an example of a table, three rows, two columns. Okay. And there's my table. One, two, see like that. Okay, so I don't want the table anymore. I will delete it. And what else can I do? I can insert a link. Uh, this is my link, blah, 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 mrtech.ca. And I go like this. And I click the link button. And it says, what kind of link? It's a URL. What's the site? mrtech.ca. Target. Not set, we'll open it in the same page. Um, Pop-up window, a new window, same window. Um, so if you go self, it'll set to set. And if you want a new window, you go to blank. So basically, you could set it to not set. And don't worry about any of this stuff. So I'll go OK. Now watch, because I had it highlighted, it actually shows me 
there's my link. Uh, so there's lots of stuff you can do. I'm not going to go through it all. If I click the source here, you can see all the codes so you can change the colors and the font and all that great stuff. Uh, this is great if you're working on a lot of text. You can actually see your text in large. Um, and I use that for, with the uh, maximize button. Now up here you see I put tags and keywords watch this I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go to product tags and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna copy those tags there okay next section is data what is the model of your um, item this is the only thing that you really really need to have so I made up a model because it's my own product but if you were using an iPad you could put like or an iPhone you could put the 3GS or the iPhone 5 that's the model Okay, you see here there's a star, you need the model. These you do not need. The SKU, the UPC, the e e and the Japanese, the ISBN if you're selling books. And all this stuff is uh, added information. If you have it, put it down. It will help getting search engine results. Um, but it's mostly for internal use a lot of times. Location, if you have, say, a store with five locations across town, you can actually put where this product is located. The price, I sell it for $32.00 and my tax class is none um, uh, we can say taxable goods or downloadable products so we're gonna go it's a taxable good how many do I have okay if you're selling a real product um, you can put the physical quantity in here if you're selling a digital product like I am you have unlimited quantity so would you put 999 no it makes no sense just put one quantity now watch this the minimum order so sometimes you might say have to order three at this price in order to get the the the, the sale price so uh, subtract stock so f my quantity gets subtracted here so I'm going to say no therefore my quantity will always remain at one and because it's a uh, it is a downloadable product right um, I'm uh, saying no don't subtract so my quantity will always remain at one if I was to say yes, subtract stock, and I had two in stock, and one they were both sold out, it would go to out of stock. This is what I want the customers to see on the website. This is going to show on the product page. Uh, for example, you have some coming in, and you know for sure they're coming in two, three days. Um, I just like to put out of stock. Does it require shipping? In my case, it does not. SEO keyword. This is uh, important if you have uh, short URLs turned on. So in my case, I do, and my keyword is email dash net ticket, like this. Okay, this is the main image. So I'm gonna go browse. It shows me the image manager. This is my image here because it's already on my server. If it wasn't on your server already, you could go to upload. And you could surf to your website, and there's the picture. I'm not going to do it because it's already here, so I'm choosing my picture, and there it appears as the main. Date available uh, puts today's date. Um, for example, you could say it's not available till August 1st. If you were using a DVD release and they were preventing you from selling it till August 1st, you could set it up way ahead of time, but it actually would not show up on your site until that date. Okay, dimensions. This is all for shipping, so I'm going to go really quick. Um, just think, this is not the dimensions of your product, but this is the dimensions of your product inside of a box ready to ship. So, 5 inches, 5 inches, 5 inches. Uh, easy. What do you use? Inches, millimeters, centimeters uh, for this up here? Weight. My product weighs uh, 5 pounds, let's say. And my status. Is it an able product? You can leave the product on your set my uh, sort order to 10. It will show up uh, 10. But however, if I have nothing named 987654321, then this will be the second product. So um, sort order is relevant in a way that you can control which products you want sorted first. But just remember, your customer has the ability to go inside your uh, cart and filter and um, search by the uh, heading that he wants just by clicking up here on your product page. Okay, so we're done with this page. We're going to go to links. Uh, I have a 
another video called Assigning Categories in OpenCart that uh, explains this way, way better. So I'm not going to even spend any time on this page at all. Look at my other video if you want to uh, learn how to do this. Categories is, uh, we're going to go, uh, I'm going to say it's software just for the time being. Uh, stores. Uh, if you don't know this, uh, OpenCart can run multiple stores on just one installation, so you don't have to uh, install it over and over again. So this is where you would choose the store to assign it to. Um, this is the downloads. Um, I um, would put a file here that I want the customer to download once they buy this product. In this case, I'm not letting them download it because I'm going to email it to them. I like to offer bonuses and personal assistance. So I'm not going to use this and related products also covered in my video I just mentioned. Okay, attributes is beyond the scope of this video. So we're going to skip it. Options is for things like colors, uh, sizes, uh, but setting up options is beyond the scope of this video, so we're going to skip it. Discount, pretty simple, uh, discount. Uh, you have customer groups, more than likely you don't use them, so quantity, if somebody, say, buys uh, five videos for their school, uh, the price will only be $10. And that sale will start Monday, and that sale will end Friday. So from Monday to Friday, if you buy at least five Mr. Tech Guide to email netiquettes, you will get them at $10, so it will be $50. Okay, special. Uh, I am going to add a special. So... Default group priority. Uh, we explained priority already. I'm not going to list it again, but let's say you had four different specials on right now for this product. You could set the priority like so, and then it would show this one first. But if I set a priority zero here and say 10 there and 20 here and, and uh, 99 there, first one, second one, third one, last one, okay? So I can leave them all at zero, leave them all at empty. To me, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is the special. The reason I would want to add more is because a certain group could get a certain price and a different. So you could have your retail group, your friends and family group, your wholesale group. Okay, so you could set all the different prices there. I'm going to remove these ones. Uh, so the item is on sale for $15 for the entire month of August. Now some people are going, well, you just said that in discount. No. In discount, you had to buy a quantity in order to get the sale price. In special, this is just the sale. So if you're not having to have a specific amount of purchase in order to get this product, then you put it under sale, under special. Okay, next tab is image. This is where you add the second, third, fourth, and fifth image for your product. So, um, so this is my product. So I'm going to say I'm going to add that, and I'm going to add my pretty little face dude here. So these would be the second and third images that appear in my product. Reward points. Your cart can operate on points. You can give someone. Uh, reward points. So, for example, this customer group default, when they buy this product, they will get 100 reward points for buying this product, but let's say it costs 2,500 points in order to buy this product. I know, you're getting excited right now because you didn't think this was possible. There it was the whole time, and you didn't even realize that you had this built in like the big guys. So, yes, you want customers to come back? Let them collect points. People love to collect points and then let them buy your products using certain points. So, of course, if you leave this empty, not every product in your store will be able to be uh, sold using points. Only the products that you want to sell using points will be available in here. And finally, the design. Let's say you don't want to use the regular um, layout you can override this product with a different layout page but that is also beyond the scope of this tutorial don't forget to hit save
I'm going to quickly show you there is my product, right? And if I go to the storefront, there it is. And where did we put it? We put it under software. So if I go to software, there's the Mr. Tech Guide email and etiquette. This ebook, DVD companion, blah, blah, blah. And you see it cuts off. The cart cuts that off on purpose. That can be controlled. There's my price. And if I click here or here, take me to the product. And as you can see, I'm in the product. Okay, there's my name. There's the model. I had two available, my price. And finally, there's the description and the tags at the bottom. Um, that helps with search engine. Don't forget to put lots of text in here, lots of keywords in here. And that's basically how you create a product in OpenCart. One more trick before I let you go. If I check here, because I know this one is set up perfectly with all the keywords and everything that I need, I can go copy. And then I'll go back down. And I'm sorry, I'm it's probably on the second page. And there it is. So do you see how I have two of them? There's one and there's two. So if I go edit this one, I will go, um, I will just call it, let's say email netiquette, just to show you. I'm going to change to net zero two. And I'm going to make the price $30. And I'm going to make 99 of them in stock. And then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back and show you that it is disappeared. No, here it is right there. Email netiquette. Model net two, $30. There's 99 in stock. And don't forget, we had disabled. Um, no, actually, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Um, when I create a new product, you see that? Enabled. It is automatically disabled by default so that you don't publish this two same products. It's just a way to let you configure products quickly without having to repeat all the information. So see, I didn't have to do anything. The text is there, the keywords are there, the model, the prices, the stock, the links, all that kind of good stuff. So all you would have to do is go and change this for every product. Uh, makes uh, creating products a lot easier by copying them. That's it. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great time entering your products. And let me give you a great tip. If you have 100 products to enter and take pictures and crop those pictures and, and think of keywords, yes, it's overwhelming. Yes, it's a lot of work. And if you're like everybody else out there, you probably don't even bother doing it and you let it sit and sit and sit. Here's what you do. Five products a day. Make yourself a promise that you will enter five products a day. Once you've done your five, pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Move on with everything else, and the next day do another five products. In no time at all, your cart will be full of products. So that's my um, challenge to you, five products a day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.